And now he's here to talk with us about his past year in office. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you, Kevin. You've had quite a year this past year. Give us a little recap of 2016. Well, 2016 was a, was a wild and busy year for me as NCBA president and one that was very rewarding as well. You know, we spent quite a bit of time in Washington, D.C. doing legislative work, uh, got to, uh, tried to stay out of the election fray and did a pretty good job of doing that. And, but now we're, uh, uh, in the past few months, have been working real hard to make the transition to a new administration with some new priorities and, and finding out how NCBA can best use these, these new, the new agenda of the, of the new administration to its advantage. So uh, it, it's been a wild year. It covered a lot of ground, a lot of water under the bridge. Probably the most gratifying thing for me was uh, the ability to get around the country and rub shoulders with a lot of cattlemen, uh, learn a lot. Uh, and, and my takeaway was there, there's an, they are an incredibly resilient lot. The U.S. cattlemen are, uh, have the most positive and, and uh, uh, greatest outlook and, and, uh, of, any, of any group I've ever been able to around. And, and, uh, and as their president, I was happy to, uh, to draw strength from that. And uh, it was a very rewarding experience for me. Outstanding. And as you reflect back on the year, what would you point to as some of the key accomplishments of you and your leadership team? Well, we worked hard on uh, the waters of the U.S. rule. We were able to, to keep that at bay. And, and now with the new administration, it, it looks like we're going to see a final final end to that, that massive government overreach. You know, we've been working on the GYPSA rule and are still working on it, that, that beef quality revolution that's driving this increase in beef demand and the increased opportunity in our industry is would be uh, severely challenged by the GYPSA rule. And so we're going to continue to work against that. Uh, the, uh, a, a lot of other issues on the new administrative agenda. We're going to have to be part of the discussion. One of the biggest there is uh, international trade. You know, trade is so very important to our industry. 15% uh, of the value uh, of our product goes overseas, the $300 per calf. Uh, we, we need that, that uh, value in our industry. And uh, there, there's a, a market out there that, that wants and needs our U.S. beef. So. Uh, we're going to be at the table. We're going to tell that story. We're going to emphasize the importance of international trade to agriculture, especially the beef industry. And, and we know how valuable it is, so we can tell that story. You know, a lot of people come to this convention to get a pulse on uh, what the future looks like. And you've had an opportunity to visit with a lot of folks, uh, see a lot of country this last year. Uh, what does your crystal ball tell you about 2017 for the cattle industry? Well, I guess 2017 and beyond to me is, is so exciting. It's, it's hard for me to describe it all. But one of the, one of the greatest uh, takeaways that I have from my experience with cattlemen around the country is we have a wonderful crop of emerging cattlemen that are taking their place in our industry. The young cattlemen, these millennial producers, uh, I couldn't be more excited about how they're going to help drive and lead our industry forward. Mm -hmm. That's outstanding. And one last question, um, what would you uh, advice would you give to the incoming NCBA president? We'll be visiting with him just a little later. Well, I'd first say that I have all the confidence in the world and Craig Uden, I know he's going to do an outstanding job. And as far as advice, I, uh, I would say just uh, just dig in, enjoy your time and and uh, uh, appreciate all the all the help and advice that you're going to get from all the cattlemen around the country. Outstanding. Thank you so much for your year of service, Tracy. We appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin.